Kaylee McEnany came out, as she always does, to introduce, to welcome everybody, to thank them for coming, and, in, and to introduce their case. Here's just a little bit of what she was saying. Our position is clear. We want to protect the franchise of the American people. We want an honest, accurate, lawful count. We want maximum sunlight. We want maximum transparency. We want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to be discarded. Unlike our opponents, we have nothing to hide. Okay, she, all she said was we want every legal vote to be counted and every illegal vote to be discarded. She didn't say anything about voter fraud. This was the very beginning. And Neil Cavuto, who is on Fox News live while they're airing this press conference, cuts her off. He, he breaks in and he tells them to take the feet off the air. Legal vote. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I just think we have to be very clear. She's charging. Uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up, I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. I want to make sure that maybe they do have something to back that up. But that's an explosive charge to make that the other side is effectively rigging and cheating. Okay, so, so Neil Cavuto cuts out of Kaylee McEnany's press conference because, her, because of her explosive charge that the other side is rigging and cheating an election. Now, I don't watch Neil Cavuto on the regs because I have other stuff to do during the day. Uh, but Neil Cavuto, I'm pretty sure back in 2016 or 2017 or 2018 or even January of 2019... I'm pretty sure Neil Cavuto never cut away from Adam Schiff making baseless claims about the president colluding with Russia. I'm pretty sure Neil Cavuto never cut away from Jerry Nadler making baseless false claims about Donald Trump uh, and, and the Ukraine. I'm pretty sure they never cut away from Nancy Pelosi saying Donald Trump is not the president and I pray for him and he's done these atrocities. They didn't even cut away from Chuck Schumer when he threatened the lives of two Supreme Court justices. Did Neil Cavuto ever pull away from the impeachment inquiry hearing when Adam Schiff literally was making up the verbiage of the phone call just making up if the actual phone call wasn't incriminating at all so what did adam Schiff do man he just started doing some just started doing some ad libbing just went back to his old drama club days from high school and trust me adam Schiff was in the drama club and neil cavuto never pulled away from any of it but with kaylee mcenany and donald trump who are mounting a legal defense of the election they're in court and they are presenting evidence to the court a legal disagreement they are saying we are going to court we are laying out the case i'm explaining to you what our case is and neil cavuto gets his panties all in a wad and is all like oh i can't in good countenance this is this is awful uh if she does bring proof of that of course we'll take you back so far she has started saying right at the outset welcoming fraud welcoming illegal voting not so fast. A little more after this. Not so fast. A little, not so. Listen, listen. I, if she brings proof, then maybe we'll cut back into it. Although Nancy Pelosi never had proof, and Chuck Schumer never had proof, and Adam Schiff never had poop proof, and Jerry Nadler never had proof, and for three years they never had proof. But Neil Cavuto was right there reporting on it, right there letting them speak. Did he ever say, "Whoa, whoa, not so fast," Nancy Pelosi? Not so fast. The president did not collude with the Ukraine. Bring me the proof. Wait a minute, Nancy Pelosi. Not so. They even actually had proof that he didn't. Remember the Mueller report? The Mueller report came out and said there was no collusion. There was no obstruction. And yet still, they allowed these people on their airwaves to accuse the president of doing things he clearly hadn't done. And they didn't have proof of it. But that was fine for Neil Cavuto. This was not. Well, guess who else took umbrage with this? Tucker Carlson. Why? Because Tucker Carlson basically pays Neil Cavuto's salary. I mean, let's be honest. Look, nobody's tuning in to Neil Cavuto hour or 60 minutes with the, I don't even know what is the Cavuto report. I don't even know what they call it. We all know Tucker Carlson has the highest rated cable news program in the history of television. And if it weren't for Tucker Carlson and it weren't for Sean Hannity, Neil Cavuto would be out of a job because Neil Cavuto is not paying his own salary. That Tucker Carlson is paying for Neil Cavuto's makeup and bad hair job 
And Neil Cavuto's, the electricity they're using to broadcast his show on Fox News is paid for by Tucker and Sean Hannity. And Tucker Carlson doesn't like the network that he's on being taken down by the liberals inside like Neil Cavuto, like Chris Wallace. So Tucker Carlson on his show last night says, hey, you just can't do that in America. In a democracy, you cannot ignore honest questions from citizens. You're not allowed. You can't dismiss them out of hand as crazy or immoral for asking. You can't just cut away from coverage you don't like. You can't just cut away from coverage that you don't like. Not in America. It's getting dirt down and dirty. You've got insiders at Fox News trying to take the company and turn it a hard left. But everybody responsible for the actual success of Fox News is trying to keep it going right. So what you have is a civil war. You can't just cut away from coverage. What is it, CNN? No, it's Fox News.